Good morning everybody, AmpReparGuy.com. So we have another Kenwood TL922. I already removed the rear fan shroud assembly. This guy actually bought it from another guy and it has the main power cord here. He wants me to put a two, uh, wire it for 240 and put this plug on it. See the nut is loose and the strain relief. But something I've never seen before. Actually had a second power cord that ran the fan. I already opened it up. I saw where they disconnected it from the delay off fan circuit. And uh, I don't know why they did that. I've never seen that before. It's a stock fan. I haven't tried it yet, but I the guy said it worked. So I can see where the wires are soldered and there's no protection on the wires where they're soldered to the fan. So I'll have to take this off, re-solder these wires and put heat shrink on them so they don't short at the connection of the fan. So I'm going to figure out what's going on with that circuit and reconnect it. Is that's not acceptable. You can't have a separate cord for the fan. So I already looked at the inside of it. Band switch is good. There's some corrosion on the plate to an air variable cap. Looks like something dripped down inside of it. I don't know what, but I'll clean that off. It's not arc damage, it's just corrosion, so I'll clean that off, polish it up. And uh Needs a set of tubes, so we'll be getting a set of Pentalab tubes. I'll do all the modifications to it. This guy lives in New York. He's a ham. He bought it. I think he said he bought it from another ham in Florida. So, it's a ham-owned amp. Has the 10 meter mod done to it. Check the plate current meter. It's okay. So, other than this, it's stock. I mean, the grids have not been grounded at all. Ground the grids, do like I said, do all the other mods, so. Um, it's just weird. I don't know why someone did that, but I'll find out. But this is not an acceptable solution. I will be back. See you guys soon. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm back with the completed TL922. I had to do a lot of stuff to this. Someone did the 10 meter mod and the solder connections for the input rotary switch going to the coil where cold they uh, basically just broke off when I touched them so I took care of that fixed that the Zener diode was shorted and they had another diode in series with it so took all that out redid it put a new diode to ground so Ended up rewiring the fan. That's working properly now with the wire coming off of the delay off board and soldered and heat shrunk it to a piece of Teflon wire. I'll say it again, I have a ton of it, so I use it. And the other side of it goes right to the fuse holder back here per the schematic drawing. So grids are grounded, the bias modification for self bias, clean the output rotary switch, it looks good. Put the strap in for the low inductance mod. Change the electrolytic cap. There's the old one. Okay, I'm going to flip it over and I'll show you the top. I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the top. The air variable is like in perfect condition. It had a bunch of, I think a rat, a mouse or something on it. Here had like a bunch of crust on it. I don't know if it came from the side or what, but. Actually, it's down there, too. I cleaned a lot of it up. So, I went in here with Q-tips. And, uh, you know, a whole bunch of them. Cleaned it off, so that's good. There was some crap underneath the doorknob cap. I cleaned all that off, some stuff. Um, it's got a brand new set of Pentalab tubes. Awesome company. Can't say enough good stuff about them. Great customer service. So, uh, with the 10-meter mod, he had this jumper on the band switch and it was right up right up against the strap over here and it had a cold solder wrench just popped right off so I resoldered a piece of wire in there very tight to get to uh, this can come out to do it also but uh, 
you know, just takes more time, more labor to get the whole front panel off and everything. So, zip tied the wires going to the board here. Put the series glitch resistor in, zip tied all the wires coming off the transformer. They're away from the resistor. Put the meter protection diode in, put the strap in over here between the plate blocking cap and the plate choke. Clean the contacts on the relay back there, and also the TR relay, and uh, also the input rotor. I don't think I mentioned that before. I did the output also. So the SO239s look good. Uh, meter lamps work, and this thing's good to go. So if you need an amplifier repaired, any of the models you see on my YouTube channel, feel free to give me a call. My phone number is 203-892-4119. That's 203-892-4119. And my website's amprepairguy.com. I've worked on about 600 of these so far. I work on a lot of them, usually about one a week. I uh, love this amp. It's my favorite amp. I'll take this over any new amp. I uh, also love the SB220s. Great amps. I work on lots of those. I've worked on about 600 of those now to date. I work on a lot. So, um, so thanks for watching. Uh, one other thing, switched it to 220 and put a 220 plug on the cord and also tightened up that strain relief. So now it's nice and snug. So this thing is literally better than new. So thanks for watching. Take care. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. 73.